people love to talk about like the future of retail, but what's kind of the state of play now? So a McKinsey quote a while back that said retail will change more in the next five years than it has in the previous 50. I think that's probably stretching it out a bit too far. I think retail is going to change more in the next two years than it has in the previous 50. There's a lot going on in retail at the moment um, from artificial intelligence and other technologies that are coming into play to change uh, consumer demands and consumer habits. And over the course of the last two or three years, retailers have been testing certain things. They've been changing their operational setups. They've been understanding their consumers, their shoppers better. Mm. And I think they're better placed now to, to start to implement some of this technology um, against uh, a more considered and um, more updated uh, consumer experience. They, they know what they want to deliver mm. from a consumer experience point of view and they're now ready to, to, to utilise technology to enable that. So what's the biggest understanding that retailers need to know about consumers now? I think key for consumers today is um, a frictionless shopping experience. Right. Um, you know, we talk about omni-channel, there's a lot of conversation around omni-channel. Consumers don't think oh, I'm going to have an omni-channel um, experience, they just want to shop. Mm. Whether that's because they wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning because of jet lag or they've just got home, wherever they are, whatever device they're holding, they just want to be able to, to, to shop. And then they want connectivity and a seamless experience between different shopping channels. Mm. Uh, I might start that journey um, on a website in the office or on my mobile sitting at home watching something that's inspired me to, to explore. But ideally, I want to be able to then continue that journey if I go into a physical store. So my starting point on that journey as a shopper could be anywhere. Yeah. But what I don't want is to have to have three or four different um, journeys because the, the different channels are not connected. Okay. And what for you is a really good example of brands that are doing that really well now? The Amazon Go store, um, which is really kind of a revolutionary approach to, to seamless retail. Um, has, has got a lot of PR traction, it's got a lot of awareness in the last year, but it's one store in mm -hmm. Seattle. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Adidas have been tremendously innovative over the years um, through their um, My Coach initiative and, um, and also through their connected retail platforms. So they're en enabling people to continue a journey across devices from, from home into the store and, and on again. Here in Hong Kong, we're seeing Grana um, really kind of get a lot of traction at the moment just through really thinking about that journey and just working hard to take the friction out of um, the, the, the different stages on that shopping journey. Is it useful to ask consumers what they want or is it better to sort of think behind their thinking? It was the, he the famous Henry Ford quote wasn't it when uh, talking about research when he said if I asked people what they wanted they would have said a faster horse. Yeah. And um, the reality is people are not going to say to you I want more personalization, I want mm. you to use artificial intelligence and understand everything about me. What we want is to be surprised and delighted um, and we want to um, to, to, to find products that in, enhance our life, um, you know, that make us feel good. Um, what artificial intelligence and other technologies do is make it easier for retailers to deliver that great experience. Yeah. Um, from a shopper point of view, where the frustrations come out when we do ask shoppers will be where you know, we found what we wanted but it's not available, it's not in stock, mm. or payment takes longer and is kind of more frustrating than we'd like it to be. Mm. You know, our attention spans are reducing all the time, our patience with, you know, with queuing up and complex uh, sign-up processes are reducing all the time. So you know, what, what all of us as consumers, and particularly the younger generation coming through, we want things to be quicker, easier, um, and, and more seamless on, on one level, mm -hmm. but we also want more access to um, transparency, to authenticity, to, to knowledge and, and background data than we ever wanted before. Yeah.